Ya, pues venga. Pero que no hay... Right, the most important thing are the long-term trends, right? We've warmed the planet by about 1.5 degrees Celsius uh, since, the, uh, since the 19th century, and that is halfway to the Pliocene. And the Pliocene was the, the period three million years ago that was the last time uh, that it was actually quite warm, uh, and that was only three degrees Celsius warmer than the pre-industrial. So we're halfway there, but not in millions of years, in 150 years. We do detect some acceleration in the last 20 years compared to the previous 20 years. Um, uh, whether that means that temperatures are going to like suddenly rocket up uh, exponentially, that seems a little unlikely. Uh, but uh, we're seeing the impacts of the changes that we have. I mean, uh, whether we can formally detect an acceleration in that, that is what we expect. Right. And we expect that because we still haven't really started reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Uh, and until we do, then we have our foot on the on the accelerator pedal of, uh, of global warming. Now, it's large enough 
that we're seeing that signal, not just at the global mean, not just at the continental mean, not just in the regional mean, but at the local mean, at the weather stations where people live. We are seeing uh, the impacts of climate change on extreme uh, heat. We're seeing it on extreme rainfall. We're seeing it on sea level rise and storm surges if you're in a coastal area. We're seeing it in wildfires. Uh, and it is now no longer... Uh, possible to just say, oh, you know, this is just something that the scientists worry about. It doesn't affect normal people. It's affecting normal people and it's affecting them all over the world.
Well, but there's no normal because that implies that we're just going to stay where we are. And we're not. We're, we're, things are continuing to get worse. Uh, for us to stabilize global warming, even at the level that it is now, effectively, we have to get to net zero. We have to stop emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And that's, that's a, a huge challenge. Uh, so, you know, that isn't going to happen anytime soon. And so that means that while that's not happening, temperatures are going to increase and the extremes are going to uh, become more extreme. Now, you know, whether, you know, one year or another is like 0.1 or 0.02 warmer or cooler than, than the previous year. OK, you're not going to see that in the, in the weather statistics. But we have reached a point now where... Uh, this isn't the new normal because it's not static. We're still moving, uh, but the baselines are shifting. Uh, and so what was normal for the 1980s is no longer the case, right? So if you're making plans based on what extreme weather was doing in the 1980s, then you're way out of date with what's actually going to happen.